You are not going to believe your minces when you see this pie. You're going to want to sink your hamsters into it. You're going to want to get it down your north and south. You're going to want to put it in your boat race. Cool pie. I'm not sure anything beats a homemade pie, and we're going to do well with homemade pastry, an amazing filling of pork and chicken, apricots and thyme, and we're going to make pickle lily to go with it. With a twist, of course. This probably has a lot of steps, doesn't it? Quite a few steps, but it's worth the effort. And it starts with our pastry. So we start with lard, pig fat. So basically, we want to melt that down with water, and you need very precise measurements to make sure you get those below. It's called a hand-raised pie, because rather than sort of rolling it out and shaping it into a tin, you literally kind of bodge it together and, and you it. raise it up, hand raised, around something like a glass. Yeah, because pork pies, traditionally, are little handheld things. And I think that's because they used to be eaten by posh people on the backs of horses um, going fox hunting, which has been outlawed <laughs> only recently, though. So what you want to do is just oil a glass. And it sounds weird, but what you want to do is find a glass that hasn't got too much glass at the bottom of it. OK. Our pastry is nearly ready. As soon as the lard has melted, smell that. Oh, that is minging. <laughs> that, you're gonna, you're that gonna... smells actually like a pigsty. <laughs> that smells like a farm. I'm out. I don't care. I like poor pies, but I'm out. It's not nice, but stick with it. I promise it's amazing. It's what very you, traditional. You don't want to stink out your little country cottage making this, <laughs> do you? Can't you do something about it? Can't we put some lavender in it? <laughs> Learned about lavender recently. That stinks. <laughs> and basically, the hot lard and the hot water makes a nice soft malleable pastry. I want to know who put the lard in, smelt that and thought, I'll continue with this. <laughs> I don't know, but you know, who was the first person to milk a cow and drink it? I mean, you, you, that is true. You, what were they thinking? But we're so glad they did because we can learn from that. Mm -hmm. And at this point, just basically start to mould it. So you do one, I do the other. I'm going to get the pig smell on my fingers. Ara yeah. Is that what you're telling me to do? <laughs> yeah. Around a glass. How comes I didn't get to do the banoffee trifle? <laughs> Because you said you love pork pies. I do, but I evidently didn't know the history behind them. At this point, the pies need to set up in the fridge. And what's left here, that needs to stay in a relatively warm place because we need to mould it later on to make our lids. And in the meantime, we can make a pickle lily to go with it. Ah, okay, my so favourite tube line. A fairy pickle lily. Yellow, not blue. If you can start with shallot, if you can just peel and maybe quarter the shallot. Yep. I'm going to take a little bit of chilli, maybe half a chilli. We don't want this too hot, but it should have a spice to it. Now into a shot of oil, we're going to add the chilli, your shallots when they're done, Whoa. and diced red pepper. Get those to start to fry off, and then we can add in the spices. Here we've got curry powder, turmeric, and mustard seeds. They're all going to go in. Nice. And while we're waiting for that, we can prep our other ingredients. So broccoli. And while you're doing that, I'm going to strip up some sugar snap peas. Now I would say this isn't an entirely traditional pickle lily. I think traditionally they would use marrow, and cauliflower, and kind of those veg. We've brightened up a bit. Yep. with broccoli and sugar snap peas and red pepper, just to keep some colour in there. So I can't believe that we haven't talked about Cockney rhyming slang with a pork pie. So what does a pork pie mean? Porky pies, if you tell porky pies, you're telling lies. And you eat it with your boat race, you don't eat it with your face. You eat it with your mouth. What's the mouth? I don't know, actually. Should we chuck these in? Yep, as soon as those onions begin to soften, all the spices can go in. And now for kind of the pickling part of pickle lily. And that comes from vinegar. Shot of vinegar, but vinegar on its own would be far too intense. So we also add in sugar, give it a stir, mm -hmm. a glass of white wine, a splash of water as well, about 50 ml. I love these English monge too. <laughs> English monge too, sugar snap peas. And the broccoli can go in there, bubble away in the white wine for two or three minutes, and then last minute we can thicken it up and add in our monge too. To thicken it up, we need corn flour mixed with a dash of water. I haven't turned it on. It's just, a, it's just a receptacle. There we go. Beautiful. A reciprocal. A reciprocal. Container. Container. So all the sugar snap peas going in there, and then mix it in with our corn flour. And as soon as it's bubbled and boiled, that will cook out the rawness of the corn flour, and then you can leave it to chill and serve it with your pork pie later on. Job done. Now what? The filling. So we've got pork shoulder. Good choice because it's got a fair amount of fat in it. Take the lid off of our mixer. Bung all of that in there, along with a few flavours to make this our own. A little bit of allspice, a couple of sprigs of fresh thyme, and apricots. This gives it a really nice sweetness, and basically grind it up to a coarse paste. There we go, job done. And now we can start to construct everything and make our pies. So back to the fridge to grab our pies. 
the lather set up and this is very much stuck to the glass. Stuck. So if you fill the glass with oh. boiling water, you are full of great ideas. It will loosen the pastry and you'll be able to take the glass out, leaving the pastry there. I thought he peeked at the apricot, but I was wrong. <laughs> then again. It just takes a little second. <laughs> and while we're waiting for it, what we're going to do is heat up some chicken stock in a pan over here. Because the great thing about pork pie is the jelly which surrounds the meat. Yeah. I'm just going to add one extra leaf of gelatin. Thicken it up. So there we go, a hot glass just kind of lifts out a bit easier and that's what you're left with, a well of pastry. So you're going to put some of the pork in, enough so you've got about a third full. So only a third? Yep, because we're going to put some chicken in next and then another third of pork. So oh, the okay. chicken sits in the middle. Nice. So raw chicken going in there. It's a chicken salmon. You want to fill the pie right up to the top. So grab yourself some more of that softened pastry, yep. the stuff that hasn't gone back in the fridge. Do you need to put holes in the top? Yeah. You do? You need to let the steam out. And yeah. not just steam out, but give you a hole to put the jelly in later on. The thing I love about this is it is rustic. We've got to remember that this is British, not French. We've got an egg over there. If you just crack the egg into a bowl. I was going to say, we're going to need to egg wash this. We are indeed. They need 180 degrees Celsius for 50 minutes. It's quite 50? a long time, even though they're quite small. 50? Quite a long time to cook the pastry, cook the meat right through to the middle. Remember, the chicken is raw in the middle. Cook all the way through, and then we can take them out. When you take them out and they're hot, that's when you want to pour your chicken stock with the gelatin leaf into that hole. Let it soak in, seep in, bit more, bit more, bit more. Keep going, then let them cool down completely. Add them to a fridge for a couple of hours, and then you will have the most incredible pork pies to go to pickle lily. We've got 15 minutes to wait. You're having a bubble bath. And there we go, the pies have baked. We filled them up when they were hot with the jelly, and now they've cooled. They've been in the fridge for a couple of hours. Pick a lily, set, cooled, good to go. If I cut into this, you'll see exactly what we mean by pork pie. That crumbly crust, the filling, we've got the chicken and the pork. Apricots, oh. definitely our twist. The pick has got a bit of spice with the broccoli. That is our take on a pork pie with pick lily. Salted. Salted. <laughs> Sorted. Sorted. Look at that. So that's the proper jelly there. It kind of holds it all in place. Do some. <laughs> right, do some. That's a good pie. Oh, that's nice. Crunchy veg, spicy, curryfied. That's right, a good combination. I like it. Foods encased in pastry you see all over the world. This is incredibly British, but we would love to know what traditional pies there are in your country. The end.